Good afternoon and welcome. We're going to talk today about the BACT exchange. BACT, as you may or may not know, is an exchange that's been built by Microsoft, Starbucks, and the International Continental Exchange, uh, or otherwise known as ICE, which is the company that owns the New York Stock Exchange. And BACT has announced that clients can start warehousing deposits on September 6th. So this is really amazing news for a couple of different reasons. Um, but before I get to it, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. I'm not smarter than you. You are smarter than you realize. Do not trust what I say. Do your own research. So let's get into it. Um, customers can deposit Bitcoin into Bax Warehouse starting next week, and that's starting on September 6th. So I don't know what when you're watching this. Uh, hopefully you're catching this before it has actually happened. Um, on September 6th, their warehouses, the Back to Exchange warehouses, will begin offering secure storage of customer Bitcoin to prepare for the launch of the Back Bitcoin daily and monthly futures when they launch on September 23rd. These contracts will enable physical delivery of Bitcoin with end-to-end -end regulated markets and custody. This last part is really uh, quite important. Ba the backed exchange is going to be the first exchange that's highly regulated by uh, the, you know, th they have a unique relationship with the SEC because they've been dealing with the SEC for several decades. You know, the New York Stock Exchange has been dealing with the SEC for decades, and the New York Stock Exchange, as one of the owners of BACT, has brought that relationship to bear. They've brought their security, their custody, their reputation into the BACT Exchange, and it makes institutional investors and large dollar investors much, much more comfortable with investing in Bitcoin and uh, similar cryptocurrencies. One of the things that I am curious about and I haven't been able to find out yet is, is BACT going to start with Bitcoin only? This announcement specifically mentions uh, Bitcoin or are they gonna make other cryptocurrencies in addition to Bitcoin available? Is it gonna be Bitcoin only or will it be Bitcoin and Ethereum or Bitcoin and five or six different cryptocurrencies? I haven't found that out, but at least we know for sure that they will be finally opening on September 23rd. It's been over a year now that BACT has announced that they were going live, and because of several different delays through government shutting down in December and uh, delays because they had more customers than they were prepared to handle on their initial launch day, and a number of other things have gone on, their, their uh, going live date has been delayed by about nine months or more um, since when they originally announced that they would be going live. And so it's exciting to see this finally happening. It was the backed exchange that was one of the things that initially got me interested in cryptocurrency because when the New York Stock Exchange is investing four years and $500 million in building an exchange that will be used exclusively for cryptocurrency, that's quite a big deal. Here's another article on Cointelegraph about the very same event. Back clients can start warehouse deposits on September 6th. And one of the things that's gonna be unique about the backed exchange is that it is physically delivered Bitcoin futures. What does that mean? Well, they're going to be offering futures contracts that are either a one-day contract or a one-month contract. And so if you purchase that futures contract, uh, either through the New York Stock Exchange or through one of the other, like your TD Ameritrade or something else, uh, what will happen is at the expiration of that, that futures contract, you will receive physical Bitcoin. Um, and that's exciting because A, Currently, there's no other future. There's other futures contracts out there that that uh, uh, deal with Bitcoin, but there is not a futures contract out there that actually delivers actual physical Bitcoin. The reason why this is exciting is is that as institutions are purchasing, buying, selling, 
these Bitcoin futures contracts, uh, those coins in many cases will literally be removed from the market. So with a limited supply of only 17 million actual Bitcoins in existence today, and a maximum supply of 21 million, but we won't reach that maximum supply of 21 million in, uh, for another 100 years until approximately 2140. That means that, that as people purchase more and more Bitcoin and just deposit them and hold them instead of trading them, it makes the supply of Bitcoin get smaller and smaller and smaller. And as the supply of Bitcoin gets less and less, that'll drive the price up because it'll uh, people that are wanting to sell it at a higher price will actually be able to get those prices because people won't have any other choices if they choose to actually purchase Bitcoin. With a diminishing supply, a limited supply, the demand will force the price up. The other thing that makes this whole thing exciting is we're increasing the demand. We're increasing the demand because now it'll be available to institutions and we're increasing the demand because the backed futures contracts are most likely going to be made available through uh, different exchanges like TD Ameritrade or E-Trade and, and et cetera, et cetera, because they're already comfortable with dealing with the New York Stock Exchange. I mean, when you go to TD Ameritrade and buy an IBM stock, that stock came through the New York Stock Exchange to TD Ameritrade. And so they already have that a relationship set up. They're already used to dealing with transferring of data and information in order to buy and sell stocks. And so it'll be easy for them to deal with backed to buy and sell uh, Bitcoin futures or other cryptocurrency futures. And so naturally, that's this whole thing is going to be quite exciting for the cryptocurrency market. We're just getting started. August, I'm sorry, September 23rd will be an exciting day when the backed exchange finally goes live. So I want to ask you, hey, like, subscribe, and hodl. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video, and I have, hope that you have a fantastic day.